everybody, welcome to Semper 360. Tonight, I am going to go Stouter. I have two friends of mine. One is from the Django or the Triangle of Luero, Arthur Kisitu, photographer and dance instructor as well as a dancer. And I have another friend who is from the city of Berlin. This is an interesting mix of our two wonderful people got to meet together and they enjoy dance. And they want to teach me the value of a new contemporary dance. This is salsa and something to do. Remember I had uh, ballet, they told me tandoori. Today they want to teach me salsa. So put your hands together as two wonderful people come to show us the wonderful enjoyment of contemporary dance. This is Atta and his friend from Berlin. <laughs> From time to time, mm -hmm. you see that the gentleman did They go the lady. like that. Eh. Yeah, it's a sign of respect. Oh. If you dance to the lady eh. and you dip, dip her, you don't dip her. She'll feel like you didn't respect her. Eh. Yeah, so of course, at the beginning, uh -huh. before you dance, you ask for the hand uh -huh. formally. Uh -huh. And then you turn. You know. Uh -huh. But at some point, uh -huh. in the sound, uh -huh. you'd love to dip her. Oh. Okay? Alright. But now we can first start with the basic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the footwork. Uh-huh. Just how to do the count. Alright. And then after that, mm. we can teach you how to also follow the rhythm. Okay. Because a good dancer is one who can do the steps. Alright. But an excellent dancer is one who is able to do the steps on the rhythm. Alright. Judith. Yeah. Toka Toka. Toka. How do you spell that? It's T-O-R-K-A. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, you <laughs> are from the city of Berlin, Germany. And you are working with Arthur mm -hmm. together in dance. In dance and also in photography filming. Mm -hmm. We have some charity work in Katanga Slam here in mm -hmm. Kampala. In the slums of Katanga, what do you do there? Um, we have some families that we document the daily lives mm -hmm. of them, but also we concentrate on the recycle part and what dreams they have. Mm. Yeah, we want to see the more positive side of the slum. I mean, if you don't mind, how old are you guys? You look young, you sound young, and, and yet you're doing so much. Yeah. But anyway, that's fine. So yeah. you're from the city of Berlin, uh -huh. and you, you are in Uganda for how long? For altogether one year. One year? Yeah, now I have ten months. Ten uh, months? That, mm. already over that you've already done. Yeah. Yeah. Arthur, mm. uh, uh, you guys are doing photography, that's mm -hmm. what I know you. Oh, you yeah. are doing documenting stories, and yeah. I want to hear more about it. Yeah, sure. But this whole thing about salsa, I didn't mm. know German salsa. <laughs> I actually think, 
we have a stereotype of Germans. We yeah. think they're stiff. Oh. They're very great engineers. I didn't know no Germans can dance. I think you have to try it to know. That's the thing. For me, I started dancing salsa when, when I came to Uganda. Mm -hmm. And first I was like, no. I don't think that I will dance it well. But, uh, uh -huh. but I just, I had so much fun doing it. And the atmosphere was so great. So I just continued. And when you're like open-minded and people want to teach you. So you learn and then, yeah, you can... I'm, Good, I'm, I'm also open-minded. <laughs> can, you, can you guys teach me a move or two? Sure, we would why love not? What What can we try? Because the other day they taught me ballet. Uh -huh. They say that's tandoori, but yeah. Yeah. What, what can you teach me? We can do the basic steps for now and okay. one deep. Okay, yeah? all right. So you can first hold me like this. Uh -huh. And then you start with your left. Okay. And you go into my side. It's one, two, two and close. Two. And then it's five, six, two, seven. seven. Yeah, oh. so again. One, oh, two, two, three, and five, one, six, three. seven. So you have to have rhythm as you're ah. doing that, eh? Yeah. All right, oh, no. yeah, the shake a bit. Okay, let's. After you have the basic, you will go with the music with the, yeah. Okay, so let's do one, one two, three, three, and five, one, six, three, seven. seven. And then, yeah. how do I go to the deep? Arthur, can you come and show me? How do uh, I do the deep? Like, uh, after you've gone that one step mm -hmm. and come back, uh -huh. you take one step to come on her line uh -huh. so that by the time you dip her, uh -huh. you cross. So if you're here, the other after the one, you, uh, let's go. One, oh. two, three. So, like, instead right. of, this time instead of going back, mm -hmm. you walk to her line okay. so that when you're dropping her, uh -huh. You're within the range of supporting. Oh, great, yeah. great. This Can you yeah. get this? Yeah. All right, let's do. So we do one basic and then deep. Uh -huh. Okay, so one, one two, two, three, three five, one, six, six seven. seven. And then you come to me. One, Here. two. Yeah, she's about to fall. <laughs> <laughs> you really must have strength to do that. <laughs> Balance, but you, balance. I look at you, you're a much smaller guy, you're yeah. not as big as me. Yeah, it's about how you balance her weight. Uh -huh. I could carry her even if she was three times heavier. Really? Yeah, because once you hold her in midway, uh -huh. the weight is balanced. In fact, she's carrying most of her weight. Yeah. Uh, I'm only giving her a frame so, in which to fish. Oh, oh, listen, I have to take off my jacket for this one because <laughs> yeah, this, is really, this is really interesting. <laughs> so, let's do it one more time. So. So we do that. Three, mm -hmm. one, two, three, one, one two, two, three, three. and, five, one, two, three. Uh -huh. and then. And then. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling my my knees about to go out. <laughs> yeah, we practice. Uh, but I need more good help. Yeah. L listen, uh -huh. I, I, I know that you guys are doing an incredible job. Yeah. You are you are documenting dance yeah, right. and you've been dancing. The other day you danced at the street, Kampala oh, Street. The carnival, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Tell me about that. How was that? Uh, it was great. The yeah. idea was to bring the dance uh -huh. in, the, in the space where people don't usually expect. Uh -huh. Because in our ancient, I'm told, the African traditional dance used to be social. It was a community experience. All right, come over here. Uh -huh. I felt that... We as Africans, mm. of late, we are beginning also to become shy. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to remind the Africans that we used to do this, and so we want to bring it back to the community. So when we were starting to dance, it was on the stage, but with time, mm -hmm. we took it on the street, and then the people were following us and becoming part of it. So we also had hip hoppers, break dancers, traditional dancers, and everyone was speaking the language because well, people, dance. I look like people. Now, let me, yeah. how do people respond? You are a, an African Ugandan man. Dancing with that German girl, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, German young lady, excuse me. Uh -huh. And do people feel offended or are they happy that you're dancing with a. Have they called you Muzungu yet? Uh, yeah, they do. They call yeah, you Muzungu. Okay, all right. So, <laughs> how, how do people respond? Um, they respond really, really positive. They really like it uh, when we dance together. Mm. Also, because I think when you dance with someone, you spread happiness. Yes, yeah. yes. We like spread. when we were in the Katsanga slum last time also, she's been documenting some people, but they only knew her as someone who comes to document and mm. share in the experience of their own life. But some of the Katsanga people who are at the carnival mm. were like, oh, she also dances. And this also made her more friendly uh -huh. towards them. They felt that she was a person they could approach because they had danced with her. Mm. And now it also makes it easier for her to 
communicate with them. So yeah, she's very popular now. Okay. She was already, but it makes people feel like she's coming closer to them. Okay. It breaks that barrier. Kind okay. Of. All right. And uh, culturally, also, it's been also a learning experience for me. Mm. Because uh, when I'm in Germany, I also make friends easily because I can dance with them. Mm -hmm. When you're an African going in Europe, sometimes it helps when you can do some sports mm. or do some dancing because at least in those two areas, usually mm. we are respected. Mm. People, as, people assume that people you know, you know, you have rhythm, man. Eh? Yeah, you should have. Actually, some, uh, there are stereotypes. We have yeah. stereotypes <laughs> of certain people. We yeah. have stereotypes that Germans, all they really know is designing Mercedes Benzes. <laughs> And, and, and the engineers and everything is about this is the way we do it. I didn't realize that you guys can also dance. I think there's so many different people in Germany and yeah. especially in Berlin, a lot of alternative people come together mm. who don't want to just like always keep time. They mm. want to experience different things. So mm. experience dance is really helpful. It's mm. help for your emotions, for mm. your social life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a bridge also to other cultures or even to just other people. Okay, yeah. now here's my big question. Are, are you guys, are you guys like, uh, because when we see people dancing together, <laughs> we think that they are an item. Are you guys like yeah. an item together? Like you guys, uh, uh, something's going on here? Like, I in every show we go on, they ask the same question. <laughs> yeah. And we remind them, we do, we, we do art, mm. we are like business partners, mm -hmm. dance partners. Mm. We support each other, mm. but at least to the best of my knowledge, mm. we love what we do, we mm. enjoy doing it together, and dance is one of them. Mm. And for her, she's also very supportive mm. in the sense that I'm learning so much about her culture as mm. much as I teach her. So it, there's an exchange going on, a mm. collaboration, but mm. purely for business, the passion and love of art and uh, people uh, documenting stories. The, the, you mean there's no romance? Okay, when we are dancing, we have to be able to bring uh, that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, she has to, how do I have You it? have to make some, like a story out of it. Exactly, so you can, yeah, like, to I interpret. would call it a little bit like acting interpret. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, for me, it's definitely the passion that we share. Mm. And that's, yeah, that's really, really important. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, really, I mean, we think that if you're going to dance with a lady that close, <laughs> I mean, really, and you're going to go down yeah, with that. Right. Uh, we uh, think that it's, it, it leaves some magic in you and you yeah. really get, uh, uh, it's hard to do it without really getting attached. How do you do it without really getting attached okay. to the person? The first time, before I also started dancing salsa, because initially I was doing solo dancing. Mm. So when I was doing and watching people doing couple dancing, I used to think, oh, you have to really be interested and so like intimate. Mm. But the thing is, when you're dancing, like in this case, mm. You have to coordinate your movement. Mm. You're thinking about how to balance her weight. Mm. You're thinking about how to be on the rhythm. Mm. So usually it depends on the motive you had before you started dancing. So you, your if motive focused, is different. It's not, know, it's not uh, trying to get the girl. I mean, for us, we think if you go to a club and you want to get the girl, the way is to dance with her. You know what I'm no, saying? Also you have to be sober. I think that's really novel. You have to really be sober. It's hard to believe yeah, it. Really? Yeah, but it's, it's different than going to a club. It's different. It's, it's different, really a right, salsa different. evening where you have a... Okay, it's not a calm mm. atmosphere, but a peaceful and just yeah. really enjoying the evening together. You have to be in the best of your mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because the lady has to feel that you're in control of yourself. Mm. Because if you're sexually charged and excited, mm. she will not like that. Yeah. So you really have to be in one piece. Yeah. Most of us think that uh, salsa is the thing you do before you get into the bedroom. Ah. <laughs> I, I, I think that's what I've heard some people say that's that what? you do salsa, okay. you know, as as a sort of like dessert or appetizer yeah. before you mo the, the the relationship goes to yeah. another level. Okay, the commercial industry has sexualized it in some places, <laughs> but that's not all there is. You know? So probably the people should just try it out and yeah. they'll see that. It's ah. yeah, 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 they should try it out for themselves. Yeah. Listen, give a hand clap to my guest okay. this is awesome i know we want to take a quick break when we do come back i'm gonna have uh, this footage of these wonderful guys when they were at uh, you guys have had a few videos yeah. we're gonna see some also, of your Bunyoni, when we are doing dance in the wild yeah we, we invite people to experience nature in a dancing way yeah like to just go out and be on the lake you know, meditating, praying, or whatever it is that uh, revives your spirit, but yeah. combining it with dance. We also yeah. have a children's dance program for this holiday for kids who are out there and want something to do, parents. Our program is for everyone. It cuts across. All right, yeah. listen. Yeah. Uh, you're on Semper 360. This is how we do it. Semper, can you do a run? This is how we do it. Can you do the yeah, Semper 360? Don't go away.